And we have new details in the investigation into the Gilgo Beach murders. A task force investigating the killings released a new sketch of one of the victims who they are calling Asian Doe. The sketch was created by studying the remains of a victim discovered in 2011. Now authorities are asking for the public's help in identifying that person. This is a call to action. We want to enlist the public's help in trying to identify Asian Doe. Again, this person had a name. This person had family. This person had friends. We're reaching out to anyone who might have known uh, this individual to help us with that identification. Let's go to ABC News senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky for more. Aaron, what more do we know about this victim? Asian Doe was killed in 2006, but the remains, skeletalized remains, were not found until five years later in 2011 along Ocean Parkway near Gilgo Beach. In fact, the, the remains were found near another Gilgo Beach victim, Megan Waterman. And the, uh, the, the Suffolk County District Attorney Ray Tierney in revealing this new sketch that forensic anthropologists were able to put together based on what those remains looked like, he's hoping that will trigger someone's memory. It's been a challenge to identify this victim known as Asian Doe. He was a biological male, 17 to 23 years old when he was killed, uh, but he either identified as a woman or was known as a woman in the sex trade. Like the other victims, he worked as a sex worker. Uh, the suspect in this case so far has uh, only been implicated in the death of six of the, the ten victims that were found on this beach. Has there been any attempt to connect him to this death? They haven't done that formally. In fact, at, uh, at the press conference just now, the district attorney did not make that link. But the working theory among investigators is that Rex Hewerman, who was pleaded not guilty in the deaths of six individuals, uh, may also be linked to the death of Asian Doe. How do they know that? Sources have told us that some of the internet searches, and Hewerman had an extensive uh, search history in, in pornography, some of that may line up with the nature of who this Asian Doe victim was. All right, senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky. Thanks, Aaron.